The Jays needed their best to come alive to avoid their first series loss in nearly a month. Let's go live to David Alter now at Sportsnet with what was an unfortunate bit of deja vu after yesterday. Hey, Dave. Hey, Pam. Yeah, you know, in the win streaks of nine games and six games, one thing that was common with the Blue Jays, they were hitting. You can't say that about the Jays this weekend as they were looking for the rubber match in their series with the St. Louis Cardinals. Drew Hutchison, winner of his last three decisions, trying to keep things under control. Pick this one up in the second. Tony Cruz goes to the left field wall. Mark Ellis easily comes in to score from second to nothing St. Louis. Next batter, Matt Carpenter rocks Hutchison, yet the ball carries and it just goes off the seats for a two-run shot. They bat around in that second, scoring four runs. Jose Bautista trying to calm Hutchison down. Doesn't really work to the third. More trouble. Bang. No doubt about this one. Johnny Peralta with a solo shot. That makes it 5-0 St. Louis. That's exactly how this one would end as the Blue Jays lose their first series in just under a month. To tennis now off to Roland Garros in the men's French Open final. The king of clay, Rafael Nadal, taking on Novak Djokovic, looking to complete the career grand slam if he could win this match. Third set, both split the first two. Frustration setting in for Djokovic. Cross court backhand goes wide. He's not happy. He was battling a stomach issue as well. Still in the third, Nadal up 5 2. Djokovic goes to the net. Nadal shows him how it's done with the backhand. Rafa up two sets to one. Fourth set, both players holding serve. There's a gorgeous winner from the Dull. And now up 5 4 in that fourth set in match point. Djokovic on second serve. And he'll double fault to end it. Rafael Nadal wins it 3 6, 7 5, 6 2, and 6 4, and grabs his ninth, yes, his ninth French Open title. To the hardwood and the heat taking on the Spurs in game two of the NBA oh, Finals and some fans right recreating Cramp Gate. LeBron okay to play in game two. Tim Duncan in San Antonio hoping to go up two zip in the series. Spurs up by nine late in the opening quarter. Manu Ginobili drives to the hoop. Duncan tips it in. Spurs lead by as many as 11 points. Second quarter, heat bounce back. Dwayne Wade with the three ball misses. LeBron battles through, puts in the rebound. This game would be tied at the break. LeBron unleashed in the third game still close James with the three ball and nails it had 14 points in the quarter heat up three and time winding down Chris Bosch finds a wide open Dwayne Wade delivers a dagger heat win at 98 to 96 this series is tied at one heading over to South Beach and Daniel Ricardo won his first F1 race it was in Montreal and he was the fourth Aussie to ever win as he would win the Canadian Grand Prix Pam very exciting. So is it time to start worrying about the Jays? You know what? It's two games that they lost in a row. They did that before they won six straight. So maybe not. They do want to get some offense going for sure. But the good thing is the Yankees and the Orioles keep losing as well. So they still have a five and a half <laughs> game lead on that uh, AL East race. So no time to panic just yet. I agree. I feel like the media overstates these things. It's always doom and gloom. Or, you know, they well, win a few, and it's like going to the World Series. They lose two, and yeah, you know, you know what? Out. It's Toronto. Their pessimism you can kind of understand <laughs> with the fans. It's been 20 years. There's a lot of that angst, and everyone just wants to cheer for a winner. We saw with the Raptors last month. So hopefully that carries over, and we could all be happy again. <laughs> yes, we all want to be happy. Thank you, Dave. Thanks, Pam. Check in with you in a bit.